Hello guys, uh, this is our new course for Flutterflow and we are going to cover all the Flutterflow features that haven't been covered earlier in the previous courses and our previous courses you can find on YouTube channel. If you have purchased uh, the old one, old course and this one, you will get it for free, don't worry about it. All right, uh, let's start. So if you're new, totally new in Flutterflow uh, and you get into this page, so all you need to do is uh, click on start for free and then you make the registration for, the, uh, for your account or you can use Google, Apple or GitHub, Microsoft, whatever it is comfortable for you. After that, you will get to this page and once you click on create new, for example, let's uh, call this app uh, new course app and click on create blank. So right now uh, you get this kind of setup. If, if you're totally new and it's your first uh, Flutterflow account and it gives you some kind of other things just try to skip everything don't worry go back clicking on flutterflow icon and again create one new uh, project and then you can start building your app following our tutorial all right so what do we have here um, this is our canvas on the left side you see all the widgets that you can use in your development process on the right side is the properties of your widget of your page or widget at the moment we didn't click anywhere uh, you can by the way you can click on the blank space over here and uh, you will see that on the right page on the right side of the page you have properties of your page so what we can do here uh, here we can change the background color for example click here and you can put it like blue for example right then you can make it like black whatever it is comfortable for you uh, then we have safe area what is safe area so if we click on display device over here the right side of your canvas uh, and change background color for example to white click yes then you have a column here let's delete this column okay and take this container in your widget uh what's called widget palette and drag it to your screen drop it so right now we are using this container and we can change properties of that container let's change these properties so at the right side you scroll down you have width and height May click on this um, unlimited sign okay and change your fill color to black done so right now what we see here we see that at the bottom of our app we have a blank white white space so if you want to cover the whole space you can turn off your safe area so click on uh, empty space here then you will have a properties of the page and you can turn off your safe area. And then we have hide keyboard on tap. So for example, you tap anywhere on the screen. You have a, so for example, here I turned on my keyboard. So if you tap anywhere on the screen, uh, your keyboard uh, will disappear, right? So this feature, this function here, we never turn it off. It's always on right disable android pack button uh, this feature it's always uh, we always turned it on because our developers the team is asking to turn this on because it is uncomfortable for them to have uh, this android back button always on the screen right so it's always on so every time we create a new page we turn this on uh, but it doesn't matter for me really but if you hate this back button then turn it on then you have show on navbar 
So navbar, it's a menu at the bottom, all right? So let's hide the keyboard. It's a menu on the bottom. We don't have it because first of all, by clicking here, we're gonna get into settings and here we can turn on our navbar. And now it's asking me that I have to have two pages. We're gonna come back to it, all right? So click on widget palette at the left side, okay? Uh, then, so we turned on our navbar and always show navbar on page. So this function here, uh, whenever you open any page of your uh, application, uh, navbar will be there even though this page doesn't have to have uh, a navbar, okay? Uh, but the problem that uh, we must change the style of the navbar so we cannot use uh, normal love bar right uh, and we have to always change it to a custom one not the custom one the flutter flow provides for we're gonna come back to it and don't worry about it all right so and then we have different icon so for our love bar icon we can change it anytime uh, let's create one more page so how to create a page so you will see this uh, green button here by clicking on it you can create a new page so let's create a blank page and call it like login page all right and click on create page and same thing so click on the empty space here so we can create uh turn on the navbar option so turned on and right now you see that your navbar is on so if we go back to our home page we see that we have it here as well all right so what is next uh, so at the left side you have a menu okay so first one it shows all the widgets you can use and to use them it's easy so just click on uh, hold tap on image or any widget that you want to use and drag it to your canvas here right now we have an image here then same for example text we can drag and drop a text here and uh, as you can see, I'm on a page called login page. If I go to home page, let's delete this container here. And again, uh, we drag and drop our image. Image is here. Then I want to drag and drop our text. So whenever I drop my text into the canvas, it tells me replace child widget, wrapping column, wrapping row, wrapping stack. So I'm gonna click on cancel why it is asking me to wrap into like column row or stack uh, because here we have a widget tree if we open a widget tree we can see all the widgets on our screen so we see that we have an image so if uh, we click on page selector and go to login page and see the widget tree here it has a column all right so our main page first page does not have column so column helps us to arrange our widgets from up to bottom okay uh, so let's as i said before let's drag and drop our widget into our home page and click on wrap in column so right now we have uh, our widgets from top to bottom and for example like let's drop a button here so, okay we have a button no problem so what's the difference between column and row? So column, as you can see on the image, it has widgets from top to bottom. And if we use row, it has widgets from left to right. For instance, I want to create a card. So I'm gonna use, uh, let's use card widget. I'm gonna drop a card here and let's change the color something like uh, success. Mm, no, it's too, like let's change the color like this okay so we can see it and i'm gonna uh, increase the size i'm gonna zoom it in so i'm gonna use column first so i drop the column here then i want to drop image into this column after that if i open my widget tree i can click on column that is inside the cart all right so and i will click over here and i'm gonna add text so right now we see we have a text here then let's let let's click on column and we can uh use some settings here so 
first of all i want all my uh, widgets to be at the left side so here we have cross axis alignment it is in the column all right in the column settings properties so i'm gonna click on that icon here so all my widgets will be at the left side of this card or i can click on the right or in the middle so also i can click on cross axis alignment uh, which is going to be straight stretch and as you can see right now it took the whole screen the whole place here that's also fine for me all right so i want to place one more text over here at the right side so we have text on the left side i want one more another totally different text uh i want to have it on the right side of this uh, opposite to this text here so i'm gonna click right click on this text in the column of a card and i'm gonna click on wrap widget all right and i'm gonna wrap it with a row and then into this row i can click on that icon so i it says add a child widget and gonna use text so right now we have like two texts in in this uh, row so let's click on row and row has main axis alignment uh, also see like I'm gonna click on different on them it's gonna be on the middle left side right side this one gonna have space evenly it means we have a space same spaces at the left side in the middle and at the right side and we have space around which has like uh, same sizes at, at the uh, same sizes at the sides padding sizes and a little more in the middle and we have space between Right now we have one at the left side, another one at the right side. Okay. Uh, and let's click on that column and add a button into this column. All right. So right now we have like image, text, text and button. So what I want, I want to give some padding for all of these widgets except image. For the image I want to be to I want this image to be like stretch like 100% from the left to the right. Uh, and I want to give, I want to uh, bo uh, d remove the border radius. So at the bottom, we don't have like rounded image. At the top one, we have rounded image because our card has uh, in, in its properties has border radius also. So I'm going to make it like. 24 so as you can see the card round up all the uh, widgets inside it and for this row for these two texts i'm gonna click on row and i'm gonna give padding to the row 12 or let's make it 24 and 24 at the sides uh, i can also give like top and button padding like this but I don't really want it. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to do it differently. Uh, if we click on a column and in its properties of a column, we have item spacing. So just right here, 12. Right now it has padding between all, all of the uh, widgets. Uh, also, we can give padding to start spacing and end spacing. Right now you can see that uh, it starts with padding 12 at the bottom and top and between them as well. Uh, I don't like it, so I'm going to delete start spacing and end spacing. So this is our first lesson. So right now you know how to build uh, in your Flutterflow some design. All right. On the next lesson, we will cover uh, more beautiful design, more widgets. And this is just the beginning, so you can play around with it. And your homework is to build a nice home page, however you like it. Uh, it's not like we are going to check it, but for your uh, understanding, please play around with column and row, okay, and card widget. And of course, you can play with text widgets and any widgets that you see here. Uh, but main, most common elements that people use here of course is like text column row container image and button and there's difference between container and card so i advise you to use card at the moment uh, see you in the next lesson